Someone said somebody saw two moons outside. It's so nice to chat up another anime <laughs> geek. Oh, yes. I'm a multi-purpose geek. You are. That's what I like about Warren. He's more into science, though, right? Yeah, but so am I. I like science fiction. Are Daniel and Brooke flirting? Right on. I'm glad I talked Daniel into coming. Just to see him flirt with Brooke. I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. So, why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Hi, Daniel. Yes! Max makes an entrance! <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end, for Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale break. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I'd pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. School days. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes! Give it up to Brother Warren! Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town! I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard! Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For, for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. Bigfoot on Otter Action. Yo, 
give the girl a break. No way. Are you kidding me? Oh shit, Alyssa, are you okay? Yes, I just got tagged by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm groovy. Of course, this is the one time you didn't ward me, Max. Angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. Look at Alyssa shake that booty. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sack. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better, and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Look at this. <laughs> I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. The wit of the Vortex Club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section?